The road that Kevin has taken to achieve his goals of becoming a successful entrepreneur, author, and host on television and podcasts is extremely motivational. Let's take a closer look at Kevin O'Connor's background and the path that led him to popularity. Kevin comes from a huge family that includes four brothers and two sisters. He was born on January 1, 1968, in the state of New Jersey in the United States. He spent his childhood in Maplewood, New Jersey, where he built a deep bond with his siblings and participated in a wide range of activities that interested him. After completing his secondary education at St. Benedict's Preparatory School, Jersey, he went on to study history at the College of the Holy Cross, where he was awarded a Bachelor of Arts degree in the subject in the year 1990. Kevin and his siblings, including his parents and grandparents, came from a family of builders and contractors. Both of his parents had careers in the construction industry, his father was a civil engineer, while his grandpa was a builder. Early on in life, he was exposed to the building and construction business, which sparked a lifetime interest in, as well as admiration for, that sector of the economy. He frequently helped his father and grandfather construct and renovate homes, which provided him with the foundation for talents that would prove to be quite useful in the future. Kevin started flipping houses and doing home renovations with a good buddy soon after he graduated from college. He found that he enjoyed the work so much that he eventually started his own construction firm. Before going back to school, he served as the CEO of this company for a number of years. Kevin began his professional life as a banker, despite the fact that he is most known for his role as a television personality. Following the completion of his master's degree, he took a position with Fleet Bank as the vice president of the sports finance group for a period of several years. After that, he took a position with Bank of America as the senior vice president of the commercial real estate group, where he remained employed until 2003. When Kevin was hired in 2003 to host Ask This Old House, a huge shift occurred in the trajectory of his professional life. Homeowners who are in need of aid with various home improvement tasks are featured on this show, which is a spin-off of the renowned This Old House series that airs on PBS. They receive advice and direction on how to successfully execute the tasks themselves from Kevin and the other members of his team of specialists. It didn't take long for fans to see Kevin as a fan favorite and they rapidly recognized his skills and expertise in the realm of home repair. In addition to anchoring the home improvement program that holds the record for the longest-running series in the annals of television, Kevin has also hosted programs on DIY and History's H2 television networks. Additionally, he is the host of the renowned podcast known as Clearstory, on which he conducts interviews with various professionals working in the field of home improvement, such as architects and designers. Because of his extensive experience in the field and his enthusiasm for his work, Kevin is the ideal host. Additionally, Kevin is the author of a number of publications that focus on home improvement and do-it-yourself projects. In 2011, he had his first book, titled The Best Homes from This Old House, published. Since then, he has authored several other books, such as The Complete Guide to Kitchens and The Complete Guide to Bathrooms. His first book was published in 2011. At the moment, he works as a member of the editorial staff at the publication known as This Old House magazine. Kevin is an entrepreneur in addition to the work he does in the television industry. He is currently serving as the chief executive officer of the web-based tool rental company known as This Old Toolbox, which he helped start. In addition to that, he makes money off of book sales, public speaking engagements, and endorsement deals he makes through his social media accounts. As for his income, the specific number isn't publicly known, but according to credible sources, the man behind the hammer is reported to be worth an astonishing $5 million. We have also curated the following videos that we think you should watch next. We appreciate you being here, and we'll see you again tomorrow.